Okay, the war with the Metlar came a bit sooner than intended, so... I think the reason is because we started repeating the ship. Which meant that our, in his eyes, our fleet strength suddenly decreased drastically. So he took the opportunity and declared war on us. So we're going to have to make a, another refit to combat this menace. And we're going to put a bomb in here because lasers are pretty much useless against planetary targets. This is in every way much better ship than our PG previous one. More defense, more attack. Yeah, much much better. We're going to redesign the... The battle pass will give us a lot of extra room. And I'll think I'll... Maybe nuclear missile. Seven... 13, no. No, 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 I'll take the bombs, thank you. Again, if we have to attack against worlds, both in combat and after combat, lasers won't be much use, so if we fit a few bombs, we'll be able to both destroy any military targets there and afterwards it's a strategy in the galactic view we'll be able to have a lot more bombs to drop so if they have a lot of marines defending the place for example instead we don't have to waste five turns bombing them away we can just bomb all of them away in a single turn and invade so it'll save, save us a lot of time and we'll design, redesign the Forget to let's put reinforced holes. They had like eight points in total for them, so yeah, it's like what almost five times better. Four times the hit points. That's not including shields. Decent beam defense. Here we only want the uh, lasers, one laser. I'm going to buy this repeat because I'm going to need actual fleet. And you're making a colon ship, of course you are. We're going to opt out of the colony business and we're going to make a Lynx. Can you make a Lynx? 12 turns, I'm going to buy that one too. And then we're going to go in transport ship business. We're going to go invading some McLans, preferably in short. Ultra rich heavy gravity. We're not that interested in it, but... So maybe actually we might put an outpost ship here and go straight for Mech 1. Bypassing all these other columns, because I suspect they're also similar to these. Hard on life, but rich on minerals, so... So I suspect the center of the Mech power is the Mechlan system itself. If it falls, it's over for the Mechlans. They might still have a place in the galaxy, but they are not a threat to anyone. And we still have a decent amount of money, so we can probably buy a lot of refits. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna do anything with these. Since we could really use those star bases. Yeah, we can't attack even there. 
can't go we can't go there though, so I think I'll go to Fieras and we'll assemble the fleet here. Go here probably plant a outpost. The choice is do we go here or do we plant another another outpost here and try to blitzkrieg our way to Mechlon, so to, so to speak. Because I don't think invading this is all that harder than invading Mechlon. It'll have, of course, better defenses, but not. It won't make that much of a difference. And I'm going to repeat you again because you're certainly not going to go to a fight with only nuclear missiles. Yet it only costs one turn to repeat it again, so it basically just they switch out the weapons. So now we have two solid cruisers and two destroyers and uh, what was it? A frigate coming up. I'm gonna. S no, I'm not going to speed this up because these are not. Well, I do want the destroyers with me. Not really care about that frigate. So we'll be waiting for a few turns. We don't need the. We need. The, yes, we do. We need to wait the transport out anyway. So it's not a big deal. We don't want. He wants us an allies for a war, and we don't want to get in into a war with the goddamn Klagan Empire, especially not now. Fusion drive automatically upgraded. That's why that technology is nice. Now we'll want. Hmm. I think we'll go with the solid enrichment. It'll, what it does is allow us to move our farmers to doing something more productive. And our food production won't suffer any cost of it. Yes, you can do some research. I think two colony ships, eh, not colony ships, outpost ships, and then a biosphere. Although, let's build the colony ships, wait for the transports to arrive. I think that's the last transport. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. We're going to start building spies here. We really want to get our defensive spies at least 10. Probably research some tech that gives us bonuses to that. Since we are doing decently in research, and I don't. If we lose that tech advantage we have in some areas, we'll be in big trouble. Especially, I'm worried about losing tech to black arms. Because the only thing keeping them at really at bay is that they're uncreative. And they they have a hard time plugging all those holes. No, I don't accept a piece of her. I'm going to attack you soon. Now Yeah, we could really use the soil enrichment like here. Almost everyone is producing food and they're still not producing enough. Soil enrichment there will be self-sufficient and we'll be able to transport people out of there. So, definite, definitely want that as soon as possible. Okay, in one turn we'll do one of two things. Excellent. I'll 
think we'll go checking on communications. Now, what we will do is produce another link. Now we'll produce actually another type of cruiser where the whole point of the cruiser is to be an anti-missile ship, sort of. Continuous armor personnel race space. Anti-fighter ship. Because I think we'll need it. We're going to we have nine points available so we can maybe more bombs? No. Let's let it be. Because I think that's uh, the biggest problem we'll face with ships of this size. Is missiles. We can't buy it yet, but we're not short by much. And we can't afford it, but we have technology in development which will allow us to afford it. Why are you making trade goods? Make soil enrichment. Can Nazim produce the food? Why are you enrich the soil first? We'll pay we'll wait a few turns. We'll see if we can buy the additional cruiser. As so we can. What will happen now is that we'll go to war. Actual war, not just sitting around on our uh, on our thumbs. Yeah, this is sort of the highlights a problem with colonizing poor planets. You can't you just you have to invest a ton of people to get anything done and still you're probably unable to do it. So you can imagine what ultra poor worlds are like. These just avoid like a plague. Okay, three cruisers, two destroyers, one frigate, transport colony ships. We're going to... Ah, is it attacking? No. We're going to save here. And start the campaign against McClellan. We'll go with the Blitzkrieg option. And put an up outpost ship here. Travel here, outpost ship. And try to go for the headshot. See how it works. 